Hello, this is Stanley with QuickTipKing.com, and we're going to talk about the top 10 improvements for Final Cut Pro 10.1. Coming in at number 10 is duplicating as snapshots. This is a quick way to version your timelines and make backup copies. Number 9, hide your browser. Ever wanted more screen real estate? Now you've got it. Number 8, importing outside Final Cut Pro. You can now keep your folders on the outside and there's now more control over where you can capture stuff. Which brings us to number 7, creating libraries. You remember how it used to be when you used to be able to create scratch drives? Well now it's back, but they call it libraries this time. And which brings us to number 6, the ability to open and close libraries. Now you can work on just the project you're working on and not see all the files from all of your other projects. Number five, retiming without the ripple and the ability to put a custom speed into your retiming. Number four, blade speed, which sounds awesome and it is because now you can cut the retiming and not the clip for perfect retiming. Number three, linear Ken Burns. You now have more control over your Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro. Number two, custom frame sizes. Now you can set up a project for any device you want, including vertical iPad. And number one, the feature I've been waiting the longest for, join through edit. Now those accidental blades that you want to undo, you can do much later through join through edit. And that concludes the top 10 list of the improvements in Final Cut Pro 10.1. For more tutorials, check out quicktipking.com.